point in this session we are going to discuss about the maxwell's electromagnetic theory in previous classes we have seen about the newton's corpuscular theory and huygens wave theory and in this maxwell's electromagnetic theory so the uh, title itself saying that electromagnetic theory so according to maxwell the light is a form of electromagnetic wave see we know that the newton consider the light as a say corpuscles and hugen consider the light as a wave and coming to maxwell he consider the light as a electromagnetic wave and here he also studied about the light and he proved the light as a transverse wave and he in in his theory this theory proved all the properties of light he proved all the properties of light except the photoelectric effect except that photoelectric effect all the properties of light were proved by this maxwell's electromagnetic theory so coming to this theory the light propagates in the form of electromagnetic wave it propagates in the form of electromagnetic wave and it consists of varying electric and magnetic fields it consists of electric field and magnetic field and these electric and magnetic field changes and it proves that light waves are transverse waves yes this theory electromagnetic wave theory of maxwell proves that light wave is a transverse wave and see if you see the diagram here the light is traveling in a form of a wave here yes these are waves and in this wave you can observe that this is x axis uh, sorry this is x axis and this is y axis and this is z axis x y z so this x axis is the propagation of light so the light is propagating in this direction so this we call as line of propagation and this y axis y axis is the magnetic field so if you see inside the waves here so this is the direction of magnetic field and this z axis is the electric field so this is the direction of electric field throughout the transferring of the wave from one place to another place so these magnetic field and electric field are perpendicular to each other so as this is uh, the angle between this magnetic field and electric field is 90 degrees both are perpendicular to each other and these two fields magnetic field as well as electric field both are perpendicular to the propagation so these two fields make an angle 90 degree to the propagation of light wave so yes that it was given here both electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other these two are perpendicular to each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation those two electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to the propagation of light the direction of propagation of light and this theory this theory proves all the properties of light except the photoelectric effect except the photoelectric effect it proves all the properties of light and here in his theory maxwell uh, uh, assumed the light as a transverse wave see huygen uh, said that the light or he assumed the light as a longitudinal wave uh, we know that the sound waves are longitudinal waves but here the maxwell what he proved is the light as a transverse wave yes that is correct so and in the, if you consider the huygen's wave theory he assumed the light as a longitudinal wave and further longitudinal wave or if you consider the sound sound needs a medium but if you think of light light doesn't need a medium 
so that's why we are able to get the sunlight even though sun is far away from us and there is no medium between the sun and the earth even though we are getting the light so definitely the light wave is a transverse wave which does not require any medium to travel so whatever the hogan considered the light as longitudinal wave is wrong and whatever the maxwell considered that it is a electromagnetic wave and light is a transverse wave that is correct 